next accessing uh, this ec2 instance yeah how do we access guys so we have also generated key pair right we also generated a key pair so what is a key pair it is two keys guys one is private key and another is public key okay so whatever that is downloaded just now okay private key uh, will be with us we have to use the private key and uh, aws uses that the aws instance uses public key to communicate this is all the important points guys we have to remember why because uh, when working with the cloud we should know all these okay we have downloaded the key so what is the key we have downloaded is private key remember private key and public key and what is the protocol guys uh, what is the security protocol that is using to come in to connect to that ec2 instance what is the protocol security protocol SSH. yes perfect ssh okay and what is the port number of it port number it will on which uh, this protocol will work is 22 okay protocol is 22 and uh, you know uh, what is the purpose of this public private and public key can you tell me guys actually why do we use this private and key and public key okay uh, see here this is our machine that means we are using our machine and uh, this is ec2 instance you know somewhere in the cloud okay now we 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 want to be connected from our machine to ec2 instance how do we connect how do we connect to it ela connect avali so that is we use the protocol called as ssh okay and which runs on port number 22 but you know for secure communication uh, we have to provide the keys so who will have the private key and will have the public key so our machine that means we will have the private key and uh, what about the public key the public key will be available with the instance okay and private key just now we have downloaded we have seen that okay uh, private key and that is here it is to, uh, downloaded as dot pem the extension of that uh, the file the private key that got downloaded is dot pem okay so we communicate in order to communicate uh, in order to have the communication between two nodes or between two instances or between two machines in a secure mode in a secure mode uh, so to encrypt the data so what what are the data that is being uh, uh, exchanged between these two nodes if the data has to be secured secure in the sense it has to be encrypted right encrypted and decrypted so that encryption and decryption will be done by using these keys okay so to provide secure communication to encrypt and decrypt the data uh, who is going to do that encryption decryption is this public and private key got it uh, so now we have to use this private key to communicate so to connect to this ec2 instance and to communicate to exchange to you know or to read and write the data to communicate or to access anything whatever you may call it as okay so we use this private key from our machine and the ssh by the protocol ssh and the private key we connected to ec2 instance got it now let me show you how to connect to that instance so what is the tool that we use we have discussed in gcp what is the tool that we use to connect to this uh, uh what you call as instance here we call it as putty here okay putty with this we can connect to that okay and see this case here what is the downloaded one downloaded for uh, key just now this is the one guys practice two this was the one that i have created downloaded for the previous instance this is the one that is downloaded for the uh what do you call as current instance practice 2.pem okay now uh how do we make use of this pem to connect to that by using putty 
it's very important guys uh, just see this so first step is create dot so put in needs before right put in needs a uh, host name and dot ppk file to connect to a remote instance through ssh okay so put in needs host name and dot ppk file to connect to a remote instance okay so the first step how do we get dot ppk file so we can generate dot ppk file from dot pm file okay we can generate dot ppk file from dot pm file using putty gen there's a tool called as putty gen by using that we have to generate dot ppk file from dot pm file why because we don't have dot ppk now we have only dot pm file with us now only that this is the file that got downloaded out of that dot pm we have to generate dot ppk file got it i use this pp dot ppk file with putty to connect it to remote instance got it guys here to connect the remote instance we have to use that dot ppk file now i will show you how to create that so p u t t y g n putty gen is not putty putty gen remember that putty generation key generation is a mean of key generation so it will be download and install you can do that very easily putty gen you open something like this and load if you want to generate a key pair so dot ppk file so you have to load dot pm file so load so uh, in the downloads we have this file choose all the files dot pm file okay practice to dot pm open okay and successfully imported foreign key just put this form and click ok and save private key so i'm saving it as practice 2 you can see here guys the extension of this file would be dot ppk remember practice 2 save and close this okay so now what we have done is uh, we gave this practice 2 dot pm as input to putigen and we have generated practice 2 dot ppk you know this icon will be something like this got it so this is the one that we are going to use now i copy this now to desktop okay here we have this okay dot uh, ppk file so now dot ppk file is ready with us and what else we need so put in needs what else this guys we have generated dot ppk file successfully out of that pm and what else is required host name okay so yeah remember that and uh, what host name or ip address so and again one more point here uh, every instance will have an internal ip and external ip so we connect to that using only external ip like what as external ip address only not internal external ip address so how do we get that external ip address of the host there's a remote instance so when we create that we can see something here can you see this guys here uh, public ip external ip are we also called as public ip this is a public ip means 3.17.131.61 just copy this and store somewhere i'm saving here itself okay this is the ip address public ip okay and uh, this is the ppk we have and we have host name both are ready now we can connect to the remote instance using this ip and dot ppk file using putty okay uh, so i show you that putty now using putty 
so here we need to copy that uh, external ip that is uh, ip address public ip or external ip and we need to provide the dot ppk file okay so under ssh okay, and you have to choose under ssh we have authorization auth so from here choose the ppk file we have pasted it on the desktop right we have it on the desktop and this is the one practice to dot ppk and open and uh, open so click yes login as ubuntu so as it is a ubuntu instance the default username will be ubuntu that's it guys we got connected to that remote instance that's it okay uh now this is the instance that is created in uh, aws what is that of instance ec2 instance we call it as elastic computing cloud instance so this is only some ubuntu operating system nothing else we have in it only operating system so what is that will be installed in this nothing will be installed except python even will not have any java or anything here we have only python installed in this machine nothing else okay so to see uh, that to if we uh, simply type python it will not show anything uh, python 3 will be installed ready madely in this so if we choose it we will see this python 3.5.2 this is the version that will be installed and you can play uh, you can if you want to install anything you can install and you can work with this you can do whatever you want so like this something like if you don't have any linux machine with us then we can create some instance in ec2 and you can play with it okay it's very very easy and uh, very uh, helpful to create uh, an instance like this okay it's very uh, useful to create an instance like this in uh, aws so this instance can be used uh, as an edge node we might have heard about edge node right we have discussed on the you know, on the previous sessions also so this instance can be used as edge node for submitting the spark applications or anything so this is going to be very useful and try to create this so quit i'm quitting out of this so this is the instance guys here that's it very simple and you can see the host name so if you type the host name it is not going to give the external ip or public ip it is going to give the internal ip and host name sorry host name iphone i it is it will simply give the ip address what it and uh who, who is that who am i it is going to give the details this is the username and this is the time okay uh okay this is all guys it's very simple this is how we got uh created the instance uh do you have any questions guys in this regarding the creation of this uh, so for this you need not to be signed into this aws not required you can just uh, log out of this sign out of this that's it you can sign out of this and if you have those a uh, key pairs that's it. it that is that is enough okay we can establish the connection and we can access that uh, node by using this ubuntu sir by using this putty okay it's very simple guys uh, but i recommend you to create uh, an an account in aws because these are popularly used uh, cloud services in industry uh, so in order to get an idea of how this works we need to have some personal account uh, so we can manage everything under free tier no, don't worry we can manage everything under free tier so they are not going to charge for free tier for 12 months if you manage properly we will not be charged even a rupee okay just do that uh, if you if you can do that then it will be very fine is clear guys remember guys here this ec2 instance whatever we have created this doesn't have anything except if we have only operating system what is the operating system ubuntu operating system open to 16.04 that's what we have chosen while creating the instance and we have only one software installed one language that comes default with ubuntu is python that's it nothing else either in that machine if you want to install anything 
you can install that in that machine and you can play with it that means you can work with that okay and if you want to create instances with hadoop spark you know all big data tools like hbase uh like hbase and uh, you know what um redshift or hive all these big we call those instances what you know what we call them as emr we call them as emr instances elastic elastic map reduce okay so emr is not under free type it will be charged so i will uh, show you how to create a cluster and how to submit an application to that emr from this ec2 instance okay fine guys i will just uh, show you how to read and write the data from hdf sorry hdf sorry s3 is it fine yeah, yeah creation of instances and accessing the instances we are not doing we didn't do much okay now i am going to show you how to read the data from s3 from spark from spark how spark reads the data from s3 and how it writes the data to s3 okay that i will try to show you now 